professional organizer here in Silver Spring, Maryland. Part of my appearance, I woke up this morning, maybe as some of, some of you do, maybe as some professional organizers do with this like deep, deep urge to get rid of something. And in my case, it was part of a collection that I hoard. I hoard lots of tiny, tiny little pouches. My family and friends give me a hard time for it. I don't know if this is textbook hoarding, but I can tell you off the top of my head, including the dozen that I'm getting rid of today, I probably have another two dozen, three dozen at the very, very most. I don't think I have that many. But when I travel, I love to buy little pouches. These are from Indonesia. I have things from, you know, gifts. These are the things my sheets came in. And being an organizer, it's really hard to let go of an organizing product sometimes. So I love little boxes. I love little pouches. I love big pouches. And I can't explain it, but I woke up this morning and I said, you know what, today I think I can find the strength to actually whittle down my collection. It is extremely hard. I'm not gonna lie, but it feels so good. I mean, I haven't had my tea. I haven't had my breakfast. I made a beeline down the stairs to get rid of, um, I started with pouches in this drawer. I'm showing you a picture right now of the after picture. It really wasn't that bad to begin with, but most, I'd say 10 of the pouches came from this drawer. And here, the confession continues because upstairs in my closet, I have this box of pouches. And just like you, um, perhaps you're keeping things because one day maybe, one day maybe if I travel with that little pair of earrings, then they're gonna be perfect for this little pouch. One day maybe I might decide to like store some sheets or off season things in these beautiful linen bags. But as the years creep on, you realize one day maybe never came. And something I teach a lot of my clients, especially these days, is to really learn and love the word reasonable. An organizer can't necessarily come in without knowing you and say, always, you know, get rid of this, keep that. To some extent we can, but I really want my clients to learn for themselves what is their balance. So I ask them, what's reasonable? There, there are um, two of you living in your house and you have at least 40 water bottles. Is that reasonable? So for me, um, do I need two, three dozen tiny little pouches? No, of course not. To some extent, they're memorabilia, but largely they're someday maybe, and that day has never come. And I'm still leaving myself with two thirds of my collection. So the world's not gonna come crashing down if, if I get rid of this guy. So I just wanted to share that with you. Again, is it hoarding? I don't know, not, not technically. But it is my sore spot, just, just as a human being who kind of likes stuff and likes to bring memories home and likes to organize things. So I'm hoping that this video today can inspire you to kind of put your eyes on a collection you have or put your eyes on, on a category of things that's gotten out of control, something that's not reasonable anymore. And can you whittle that down? If I can get rid of a third or so of my beloved, beloved pouch collection, maybe there's a collection you can also thin out. So please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be really curious to see what you guys come up with and what you're able to let go of. If it's two things, if it's 50 things, I wanna hear it. Again, I'm Casey, Casey Patey. My business is The Inspired Office. I focus mostly on paper and offices, but I certainly do it all. And if you head on over to my site, theinspiredoffice.com, there is a ton of information and freebies and blog posts on there for you too. Thanks.